Hello everybody, this is Blake Cross EXE, and welcome back to Fate Grand Order's Servant Rank Up Quests. Next up is Medusa, the youngest Gorgon sister. Ah, we got assassins and casters. So let's take this nice looking wafer with us. And... Actually, let's shake it up a little bit. Uh, actually, no, let's not. But I will move Santa a little bit closer to the front. Take out the casters just in case Lancelot falls. It took me a little while to rearrange craft essences, and um, I, if I wanted to use her, I should have done it off screen. But oh well. Centaurs and Lamias. Okay. Ow. Ow. You can stop picking on Lance a lot now. I know I say that every time, but they always do that. Should have used the uh, quick card up skill. Oh well. I think the increasing attack power will be enough to do it. There we go. So pretty much the same thing as last time, except they're riders now. There we go. Bunch of Lamias, bunch of Lamias. Sure it would be a shame if somebody shot them all to death. Centaurs. Honestly, he's just kind of a drag at this point. Literally every one of these rank up quests has been dealt with in the same way.
think I'm gonna let uh, Edmund take the front on the next one. Because even I'm getting tired of the Berserker just mowing everything down. I mean, it's quick and efficient, yeah, but it's gotten boring to watch, especially after, what is this, number six? In this little, not series, but in the little session I've been doing over the last couple days. Ever since they started the half AP thing. So yeah, depending on who they got next, I'm either going to put Santa or Edmund up there. Maybe actually have to work for the next, next few victories. Part three, archers. Okay, if I remember right, the part three is always a giant class enemy, so I mean, it's probably going to fight a gazer. Gonna put Edmund here and have Santa and Lancelot bring up the rear after that. Yep, gazer called it. Okay, Dantes, do your thing. Ow. Okay, let me see here. Yeah, the more times I keep using Dantes and Lancelot's Noble Phantasms, the more I really want MHX Alter to hurry and come out. You know, she's got a quick type Noble Phantasm as well. Man, how many times is his defense gonna get docked? How many times is he gonna get cursed? I mean, if there's a Lancelot, he'd be dead by now, but still. The reason I'm stuck with that team is because I'm working on leveling up bonds. Well, but for now, this Gazer's just gonna take all the lasers. He might actually get a Noble Phantasm off out of this. Unless I'm somehow like triple critical hit and that's gonna kill him. Nope. Okay, 
Oh yeah, it's a uh, area of effect. Forgot about that. Ow. Oh, there goes Waver. Yeah, but guess who you gotta deal with now? Almost got him. Ow. I beat you with a bag and you die. Yeah, that dragged on longer than it should have. Yeah, I think for now I'm just gonna stick with Lancelot. I think after his bond levels up again, though, I will switch him out for somebody else. As effective as his bullet hosing is, you can only hear him shout Arthur so many times before it starts to get, starts to get grady. Ah. Barely survived. Attack one. Okay, yeah. Ow. Well, I got two, two rounds out of this fight, so this next part should be pretty simple. Oh, it's another gazer. Why am I surprised? That seems to be how the attack power, not attack power, how the enemy power is going a lot of times. It's like. We'll have the big unit, and then we'll have the big unit in the second round with only one other guy. Well, as long as he doesn't kill off Lancelot, there shouldn't be a problem here. If he can just attack Waver in the front just one time, that's all I need. Then I can get Triple Noble Fantastic next turn. Okay, front labor. There we go. times I've had to use the same strategy in these videos, it's starting to feel like that little bit from Melancholy of Heart Season Mia, the Endless Eight, I think it was called, when they just are stuck reliving the same summer vacation over and over again for like eight episodes in a row. And then it's like, like that was like some of the most annoying filler I've ever seen in my life. Especially since they make you sit through it all in length every single time. And this guy's still alive somehow. Okay. Hmm. 
Wow. Okay, you giant Cthulhu eyeball thing. There we go. Mystery class enemies. Does that mean we're going to be fighting a lot of them at once? Like a lot of different types? Well, good thing I got a Berserker. Kills everything. Huh. Okay. Shadow Amakusa Shiro. Charles Babbage and Astolfo. Interesting enemy lineup, but okay. Kill Babbage, then we can kill... Oh, it only works for Lancelot? Okay. Okay, just don't kill Lancelot, please. Preferably don't kill Waver either. Okay, we're going to... Hmm. This is going to be a close one. I really don't want to use an item owner just yet. Doesn't look, look like I'm having much of a choice, though. Yeah, it's screwed. I'll just go ahead and use it, then I'll... I'll have him charge him up next turn. Have them charge him up next turn, is what I meant to say. I mean, I guess that's the entire reason to have a kaleidoscope equipped to begin with, to give him a quick noble phantasm. I'm just waiting until I have enough to where I can... limit break one of them. I mean, I technically have enough now, but why would I limit break one when I can have, like, eight in total? Just like equip them on my whole party. <laughs> or on all my support. Okay, so we got Saber Altar. Shadow Atlanta and Shadow Emia. Still not quite enough. Okay. I think Alina and Emia are... No, actually, no. If, if it weren't Shadows, they'd be a bigger threat. So we're going to smack Alina around a little bit, because she only has to charge up three turns. Same for Emia. I keep thinking that they can use Noble Phantasm, but they can't use the actual Noble Phantasm. So, oh, she's dead. Ow! Don't... Okay. Now, I've got you. Yeah, what? 
Not too difficult. Well, that completes Medusa's rank up quests. And I think all we have left now of the ones I've unlocked are Sanson and Leonidas. Yeah, skill unleashed. Blood for an Andromeda B. Increase normal Phantasm Gauge and gain for yourself for three turns. Sweet. Alright. Yeah, like I said, all we got left now is uh, of the ones I have unlocked. Sanson, he's down here. Way down here. There we go. And then Leonidas. And then we'll work on the rest of them as we unlock them. This has been Blake Cross EXE, part of Flash of Blades Productions. Thank you all so much for watching and tune in next time. Peace out.